been a minute since we've done a video on the Tesla, strictly about the Tesla. So what are we doing? We're at 100% charge, almost 100%. It set it, but it was still cell balancing. Um, it was closed, it said something like 30 minutes remaining, and I had to go, so I went. So where are we going? Fremont, gotta work down there the next couple of nights. So we have, uh, let me see here, 208 miles to go. It's a three hour and four minute run, and uh, we're just gonna take it real easy going down there. Most of all of this, you guys have seen in every single other video I've ever posted down five, but uh, eh, we'll find some snazzy music to put it to, and now you got yourself some background noise. So we'll check in in just a little bit. Um, let me see here, trip computer shows us at, 313 watt hours. We've only gone four miles since the house and burned a kilowatt hour. Um, I do have the aero covers back on, the windows are up, uh, climate's off, so the car's sealed up. And uh, we'll just kind of run with that and see how it looks. I expect the watt hours to come down slightly. It is fairly windy outside, so I'm not really sure which way the wind's blowing. I'm looking for a flag right now. So we'll just kind of play with it and see what happens so we'll check in with you guys here in just a little bit and uh, thanks for joining along I hate I-5. Straight, long, and boring. But uh, every now and then I get to change lanes because there's a tractor in front of me like there is now. But we'll let autopilot do its job. I uh, got it set up for two car length. Uh, that way, uh, at freeway speeds, um, because I am paying attention and I want to change lanes, I don't have that much more runoff I need to do between the car in front of me, if that makes sense. So. We are 73 miles into our adventure, 248 watt hours per mile burn. Um, I'm very happy with that. I don't know if it's because I'm doing the speed limit, I'm testing something. Um, even though I know, I know, I say don't do the speed limit, there are theories that have to be tested. Uh, and I have, like I said earlier, the aero covers on. I'm sure that's a combination of both is why I'm getting such a great watt hour per mile. So we are projected to arrive with my handy dandy computer at 17%, which means we gonna speed up. And our consumption thus far is a projected range. Now this changes, but at this very single moment, we are 404 miles, but we're also doing 61 miles an hour downhill behind a tractor trailer. It's gonna change. So we're gonna hit the 505 interchange here in about 48 miles. And uh, when we do that, I'll get the camera flipped back around. That's actually a really pretty road. And uh, that's gonna take us west and towards the Bay Area. And uh, just tooling along in my automobile. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, YouTube. Um, 
not in general, but specifically my page. Um, I try to put stuff on there that I'd want to watch, so hopefully we're in the same mindset if you guys are here. And if you want to see anything at all, just holler at your boy and I'll do my best to make it happen. See you guys shortly.
Well, it's been a long time since I've been in an actual stop on the freeway traffic jam, but uh, that's Bay Area traffic on the 680 for you. So we're only about two mile, well, 2.2 miles from uh, Cato Road, Tesla. And uh, it shows one stall available, but it's been showing that for 30 minutes. So if you tap on the little icon that shows the charger, uh, stall 5B is out. So I kind of figured that when it doesn't change forever um, and they're all full. I have a couple hours to kill before work. I always come down here early just in case there's traffic. I'm not late for work. That's a pro tip for you kids. Um, so we're gonna buzz over there and see if maybe somebody's pulling out and we can just swoop in. If not, there's another supercharger down the way. There's also um, a uh, charge point. I think it's a seven kilowatt job right in front of the lab I'll be at. So we have multiple options. Uh, I'd rather charge at uh, the mothership just cause it's cool. And uh, if we're being honest, I want everybody to see my wrap on my hood, so of course. So we'll get over there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to plug in and charge and I don't even care if it's a slow one, we'll sit there, I've got time to kill my labs 10 minutes from there. So we'll, uh, we'll check in when we pull into Tesla Fremont on Cato Road. Charging, uh, pulled it at 13, we're already up to 50%, pulling 101 kilowatts. 
and we've put 27 back into the pack. From the house to here, let me see here, 232 miles, 61 kilowatt hours burned at an average of 264 watt hours per mile. I'm pretty stoked with that. Um, went into the gift store again, they're completely out of everything again, which totally sucks. But what doesn't suck is we pulled in and there was like four stalls that had opened up, so that was very cool. So from here, we'll uh, probably go find uh, something to eat for dinner tonight. And uh, I work nights, so we'll bust out tonight, tomorrow night. And from here, we're gonna shoot to Sacramento and then back home. Go hang out with my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law for the weekend and uh, right back to work back in Reading on Sunday. So make money while you can, kids. That's the, uh, that's the goal here. So I am tired of sitting in the car. I'm gonna go stretch my legs and uh, we'll pick this up. Uh, let's see here, Saturday morning. Uh, when we take off bright and early to Sacramento. So we will see you guys in just a few days. Saturday morning and we're out of here. So we're headed to Sac. Uh, I gotta shack up with my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. Uh, my wife's already down there. So go there, sleep for a few hours and then see what this afternoon and evening entail. I am congested AF. I don't even know what the hell happened, but I cannot breathe. So, always carry baby wipes, man. Anything else is gonna tear your nose up. Plus, you know, while you're stopped, you can wipe everything down. Keep your ride looking clean. So, where are we? We are, current trip, 44 miles out from uh, where I was at, and we're burning 246 watt hours per mile, which is stellar. We have 60 miles until we get to the 50 in Sacramento, and I think it's like 15 minutes after that. So we have about an hour change, hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15. And uh, we're projected arrival at 7.30, it's 6.20, so yeah, about an hour and change. And uh, I am pretty tired, so I am uh, very much looking forward to sleeping. Hopefully, because I wear a CPAP, I hope I can get rid of this congestion or it's gonna be miserable. So I was going to turn the camera around, but the sun is right there, and it's bright. So maybe I will, just so you guys get a view of it also. So sit tight, we'll check in in just a little bit, and uh, happy weekend, everybody.
six minutes away. Uh, I had to pull over and use the facilities real quick. And uh, I said our original arrival time would be 7.30. Boy, I grossly uh, overestimated that. So uh, there ain't nobody on the freeway. So we uh, took full advantage of that. So uh, pulling in at 20, it'll probably be 26% from 70. Uh, 50 degrees outside when we left, 59 degrees now. It was a great run. Quick 120 miles, and uh, yeah, we uh, we smoked the time. So we're gonna pass out here in just a few, and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow on our way back to Reading. Have a great weekend, guys.